Okay, so today I'm just going to be doing like an updated guide for UV animations. This is for, I think, Solemns 2.1 and above. For that, you can follow the old guide, I believe. But with 2.1, the an all the animation stuff got changed and improved. So this is just explaining how to use the new system. So this is going to be just like a basic UV animation. Um, so you'll see now that under the materials tab in the solemns thing here, there's a new submenu called animation tracks. This is basically where you keyframe everything now. So first what we're going to do is start off by going to go to animations here and then create a template. I'm just going to rename this to something like something really basic. Doesn't have to be anything exact. Then go ahead and create a clip and a animation. Just select both of these and then create them, like I did. Then rename your animation to something like. It can be the same as your model name. It doesn't really matter. Then what we're gonna do is uh, fill in the hash. It should be the same as the animation name. Then uh, under target here, change it to material, and then select the proper material, which will be our emissive shader. Then go to your clip, and then rename your clip as well to something like the exact same thing. And then fill in the hash. And for the name, what I do, I do the I do the same as the hash, and then just put dot clip at the end like that. Then for the duration, what you're gonna do is take your total keyframes and divide it by thirty. So we've got sixty keyframes divided by thirty is two. So it's two seconds long. Then go to linked animations, add a new linked animation, and then select the uh, animation, and then set the end keyframe value. Then now that we have all this set up. What we can do is go back to our model, select it, and then go to the Materials tab. Click the plus here under UV Transformations. Uh, let me delete these keyframes real quick. What you're going to do is now is keyframe whatever one you want to do. Like for example, this changes the X and this changes the Y. So let's say you wanted to like make an ad, like a billboard kind of. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press I on the Y and then move it on our timeline to the end and then change it to a, whatever value you want so I'll change it to 1 and then press I again and as you can see here it's uh, like scrolling then now that that's done what you're going to want to do is make sure you under your animation select the action make sure it's the proper uh, animation action otherwise it won't work Now that we have that done, what you can do is go ahead and minimize these. Then go to your Y type here. Um, so what you're gonna do is create a new um, Y type. And then create a new uh, archetype with your model selected. And then fill in your texture dictionary and then copy this name here of your clip dictionary and then put it in here then go to the flags and enable uv animations uh which is 1024 then what you can do is go ahead and export Then we can go and open up Codewalker RPF Explorer. And just drag it in here. Delete that, that old one. Then just restart it. And if you view the model, it should be animated. Oh, uh, I named the texture dictionary wrong. Okay, so if you have the texture dictionary named correctly, it should work. Obviously, but...
as you can see here now it's working uh, I'll probably make a follow-up to this with a more like advanced animation or in just general animation stuff so yes stay tuned for that